Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and feeling good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what is coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. This reading for today, Scorpio. This is a collective reading for the Scorpio sign. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situation, okay? This reading for today, this is for you, Scorpio. Thank you guys for your support. Let's see what's coming towards you. <clears throat> what can I get? Oh, okay. Let's look into your focus. Let's look at your focus, your situation. Oh, wow. You've got an Ace of Pentacles. Let us see who's coming towards you. Oh, Ten of Pentacles in here. The Five of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Chariot card. Okay, let us start your reading, Scorpio. Let's start with an overall energy, Scorpio. Okay, oh, this is the first time I'm actually getting this card. So your overall energy is the card of love. Um, oh my gosh, this is really magical. You know what, Scorpio? I really want you to not give up on love, okay? If you look at this, you know, the rose love. The rose, it is a beautiful flower, but it has thorns. So, like love itself... You know, um, whether it's universal love, romantic love, or family, friendship kind of love. I think at some point when you love, when you fall in love, you're going to be disappointed. And that is somehow how you go to the next level. Because the way I'm seeing the thorns in here, you're hurt. But it's so nice to fall in love. So you try, even though you're hurt, until you find the right kind until you go through all of the stages until you find that one person you know the last stem to climb and there's no more thorn so um <clears throat> the universe is telling you that um don't don't give up on love you know you're just about to meet someone you know heaven sent you're about to meet someone scorpio this is very romantic You're about to meet someone that even though you are going to get hurt, they will always be around, you know, to, to heal that hurt or pain. Yeah. Scorpio, you're about to meet someone within the next, um, Within the next two months, you will be in a solid relationship. You're about to meet a soulmate. I feel like this soulmate, Scorpio, you and this person, you've been through the same journey. You're about to meet someone who you guys are broke. You guys have been broken by other people, but you've healed. And your combination will complete the healing. Yeah. Look at that. There's so much blood. And this is a person who's like a perfect alignment or chemistry or combination. Because when you are the sun, they're the moon. When you're in the moon, they're your sun. Okay? So it's it's a perfect blend. You're about to meet you're about you're about to meet someone that you know that would complete the process of a soulmate connection, Scorpio. This person's like cherry on top, you know. Not only that you will get along, 
but there is a like your bond like this is a person scorpio where your bond is not just passion your bond is because you have been betrayed or they have been betrayed or both of you has gone through the same path when it comes to romantic relationship that they will never do it to you like this is a person who they could annoy you but they will never really hurt you because they've been experienced to be hurt you've got yeah you've got someone special coming into your life scorpio very very nice so that's that now <clears throat> Let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Scorpio. You've got a Ten of Swords. You've got a King of Swords. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Ten of Swords, this is more of the recent past events, okay? It's more of recently. This is more of the past. Um, the Ten of Swords, this is like, let bygones be bygones, okay? Um, you're very updated, King of Swords. You don't, you know, when you open your book, it's forward. You don't open it backwards, okay? The Ten of Swords, when the chapter is over, it's over. When it's over, it's time to fall in love again. <laughs> I always like that lyrics from, I think, um, who is that singer? I don't think it's, it's, Hooty and the Blowfish. Yeah. When it's over, it's time to fall in love again. So, Ten of Swords, you are not bothered about the past. You're done with the past. Yeah, Six of Cups. Like, when you look at the recent past event, you're thankful that you're alive. Like, the way you look at your past, they're sweet and bitter. Because it's sweet and bitter. So, you're very pragmatic and logical. You're sitting into... I feel like your the emotional side of you is sitting into more of like grateful, okay? Like emotionally, like, because this is, the king of swords is very logical. So the way you're, the way you're probably navigating the last two to three days is about, let's be logic, let's be logical, let's not complicate it, you know? And... Of course, you want to balance it out because you're a Scorpio, so you're a water sign. So when you activate your emotions, the water sign, it's more of like a um, sentimental, you know, because Six of Cups, Ten of Swords. But it's very balanced because when you tap into the, the emotions, there is gratefulness in spite of the darkness in here. So you're emotionally very balanced. You thank the past. You curse the past. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, you know, it's over. It's gone. I'm a king of swords. And I've got some ace of pentacles to chase. So, I would say your mindset is very into what's next. Okay? The past is over. The past is the past. It is sweet. It is bitter. I am the king of swords. You're very smart. Very pragmatic. Very logical. And you've got one focus. If you look at the King of Swords, he does, he's not blinking. He holds the Ace of Swords. He's not blinking and he's thinking. And your target is the Ace of Pentacles. This is your target. Your, you want money. Money, money, money. Or new opportunities. Yes. You've been wanting to catch a big fish, Scorpio. You've been wanting to catch big fish. And with a with your with your intelligence, and this is wisdom. This is like life experience, wisdom plus intelligent. You know, professional intelligent, maybe skills or in. This is intelligent, smart, and life wisdom. You combine it. You combine this to catch the big fish. This is what you want. The Ace of Pentacles. The way I connect with your energy, Scorpio, is that. You don't want, you don't want old, you don't want second hand. You want the big fish, Ace of Pentacles in here. Yeah. Um, something tells me that you've got an offer. 
but it's not quite there yet. So I feel like you're going to accept it if they give you the ace. It's not yet an ace. Someone is going to connect with you and it looks like they can give you the ace, but it's not yet the ace of pentacles. So you're thinking and thinking in life wisdom and your intelligence because you would love to have it, but you would like to have an ace. It's still confusing, so I feel like important information will re will be revealed, Scorpio, because you've got a Queen of Pentacles in here. So this is you. There is there's a lot of I would say important in there is still a lot of things, information and improvement that um that will occur or will happen. You 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 have set your eye on the price or you've set your eye on the target you've got a target you you know this it could be it could be professional it could be personal it could be um it could be platonic it could be romantic it could be it's something that you want this okay you want this on display but maybe you don't you can't afford it yet so you're waiting for that. You're waiting for something. The thing is, you've got, um, you've got, you can trigger it to be an ace of pentacles. It's something that you can control. The something that you want, the something that is about to land very soon, there's something that you're about to, the something that you're about to receive. It's not quite the ace of pentacles yet. But if you wait, and I'm also picking up that you should you should avoid into that kind of past pattern or behavior where you're allowing to you're allowing your allowing limiting beliefs, you know? Cause because this this moon card it speaks to me that it is because the outcome is look at that, the ten of pentacles, you know. And the block is the five of cups, which is, you can counter this. The moon card, this is a self, this is a self-limiting belief, Scorpio, that might creep into your mind. This is a very good offer. It's in the making. It will come for you. It will find you. I feel like it's out of nowhere. It might feel like it's really, really big that you might be intimidated. Um, so do not allow your self-limiting belief or an old pattern or behavior to interrupt the developing Ace of Pentacles. Could be overseas, could be love. Um, so wait, it's like um, it's telling you to let it, let it bake, okay? Yeah, Nine of Wands. This is not the time to give up, Scorpio. Something is going to come into fruition. Someone or something is going to come into fruition. And this is not the time for you to give up. The Five of Cups is here. It's normal. As you progress, connecting, working, or having the Ace of Pentacles, this is like Cloud Nine. Once... Once this company or business or person connects with you, it feels like you've you've won or it's a jackpot or it's cloud nine. But as you go through it, um, you will encounter a five of cups. This is something that you might be caught off guard by the excitement and then it might not be perfect. You know, um, remember Uranus is retrograde. And I think, no, um, no, Venus is out of retrograde, what it calls it. Um, Jupiter is um, retrograde, you know. So there's still a part of this Ace of Pentacles that it's in process, okay. So don't be, don't focus on the little nuances or mistakes, okay. You are so, you have it now. You have a 10 you know, this ace, it's going to turn into a 10. However, in the process of the ace going to a 10, 
there could be a little bit of hiccup, but that hiccup is something that you can fix, okay? So don't be caught up with, like I'm kind of picking up, a, th this is a problem. You will identify a problem, but there's a solution to your problem. So don't be caught up with the problem. There is a, be so focused with the solution. Yes, look at that. <clears throat> Something tells me you've got a mega offer. <laughs> Scorpio, you have a mega offer. In the next 30 days, between September to October, you have a mega o offer. Yeah, do you that? 10 A's and another 10. Now, in the process of getting this mega offer, um, magnanimous, magnanimous offer, mega offer, like the universal size. Um, five of cups, this is like a trigger. This is like a, this is a red flag because you're so excited, so happy that you could be panicking. You could be overacting about how you handle maybe this person, maybe it's a project. I'm also picking up could be money. You could be given a very big task. Like you could be leading a project. You could be owning a business, leading a project, or you could be meeting the, the love of your life. But it's quite big in one go. So it's mega. And it might lead you to have a self-limiting belief or you might, you know, not being confident to handle this, most especially if this is professional, will creep. As soon as you feel uncomfortable or as soon as you feel like, I don't know, nervous or acting, overacting, stop, listen, stop, look, listen, reflect. Because you've got a red flag in here, the five of cups. But even if you fail, it's just a hiccup. You could still bounce back and reclaim the 10, the 10, the ace. Yeah, look at that. One sorry will keep it going. Yeah. In fact, even if you have a big mistake, they would still forgive you. So, for example, if it's a big project, you made a mistake because they like you, you're forgiven. That's how, that's how this offer is built for you. You might have a mistake, maybe a big mistake. Um, they, you are forgivable because they like you. It could also be like a person who... I don't know, but I'm really picking up that you might underestimate yourself. Like there's a, you could downplay yourself, Scorpio. Don't do that. Something tells me that you could feel not very confident handling the project, the situation. Or you could activate a behavior, play cupid, play stupid, ego, you know, and you might lose this. But I don't think so. You've got the chariot card, you've got the emperor, but this is a mega offer. And as you process the mega offer, there is a mistake. Small or big mistake, you will be forgiven. You will be able to rise above this mistake because it's a three of swords. The page of pentacles. If this is like a company or whatever, fuck up, sorry for the word, you do, you're forgiven because they like you. You still get the knight of pentacles in here. You are the boss. No one owns this offer but you. This is made for you. You might make a mistake. You might slip. You know, you might do some, I don't know. Um, like, no matter how imperfect you are with this mega offer, it's not going anywhere. You know, it's you're going to be taken. Like, I'm kind of picking up that it's yours. You, you can take it however you want it. Like Because I'm kind of picking up this three of swords. You make a mistake, it's still yours. Don't ever think that you're going to lose this big project or big offer for one mistake. And don't, don't be nervous. Don't overreact as well. Because, you know, it could be dating or getting to know or, I don't know, relationship. But it could be they weren't able to respond for two, three hours and you're overreacting. They could just fall asleep. So just relax. This offer is taken. And the owner of this offer is you. This mega offer. Okay? So Scorpio, there is, this is your time. This is your time to shine. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, 
please click the bell click subscribe and thank you for the love notes thank you for the coffee shout out i will see you soon you have a great day